Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Conan Chronologies. It's been a while, but it's okay. This Conan story that we're going to be going over today, um, Shadows in the Moonlight, this has everything you could possibly want in a Conan story. <clears throat> it has Conan, so that's a good plus. But it also has um, a brave damsel in distress. It has a creature that's trying to kill them. It has supernatural um, monstrosities that are trying to kill them. It has pirates. It has, like, Conan has um, three different fights to the death. It's, uh, <clears throat> it has everything. Okay, this story is legit. So it starts off with this girl named Olivia. She's being chased by some, uh, like general. I can't remember what his exact title was of some army. And Conan has been hiding in the reeds, um, in the marshland for days, eating, like, raw rats and stuff that he could find. And when he hears the struggles and shit, he gets up and he sees that it's this dude that he wanted to kill anyway. So they get into this little squabble and Conan kills him and he's like walking away to get in the guy's little boat and the girl's like hey and he's like Ugh. like he had to like shake the the blood rage out of his head and he's like oh damn there's some hot chick here I should probably you know let me let me take a minute so they get on the boat, <clears throat> and the two of them are going, and there's this island up ahead, and this is in the sea to the east, if you're looking at a Conan map. Um, and they get to the island, and they're looking for food, um, and as they're, like, looking around, um this giant stone comes like flying at them and um, almost kills them. And then um, Conan tries to like pick it up and he can't throw it very far. And he's like, fuck whoever threw this is a strong motherfucker. But they see sails in the distance and he's like, okay, we got to hide because like if those are the people who you were running from, we're fucked if those are pirates, we're fucked. So, we should just hide or whatever. <clears throat> and they come to these ruins. And they get to the ruins. And there's, like, all these, like, statues and stuff in there. And they decide they're going to sleep. And um, one of the cool things about this story that's kind of, like... Robert E. Howard's um, take on society is like she's like I'm here with this scary barbarian and he's being kind to me and he hasn't laid a hand on me but like civilized men have done the most heinous things to me um and so she's, like, totally trying to come to grips with this thing that, like, he's a savage, but he's treating her well. But the people who were civilized that she was with treated her savagely, if that makes sense. So, um, that's going on. And then while she's sleeping, she has this fucking dream that... 
um, the moonlight coming into these Cyclopean ruins um, is making these giant things come to life and um, wanting to just like devour them and destroy them. So she freaks out and runs. Conan wakes up, chases after her. She tries to explain it to him. And because he's a barbarian and comes from lands of superstitions, instead of saying like what anyone else would say, like, bitch, you're crazy, go back to sleep, he's like, huh, all right, yeah. You know, like, I didn't see anything, but maybe you know something I don't and shit. So... They go up this little mountain, and she thinks they're being followed by something. She's not 100% sure. But she's terrified. And Conan, and most of the story is told from her point of view, so we don't know what Conan's thinking the whole time. But they decide they're going to get in the boat and just go, because she's freaking out. So they get to the boat, the boat's trashed, and they can't use it. So something has destroyed the boat. So then, like, they see sails coming in the distance. And um, they're freaking out, or he's freaking out, because he's like, I don't know who they are, but either way, they're going to fucking fuck us up. So he, they're, like, hiding up on the hillside. And he's like, the, the boat comes in, and it's like Pirates of the Red Brotherhood. And he's like, look, I got a plan. You stay here. Um, and if my plan works, I'll come get you. But if it doesn't work, stay hidden. Because no matter what, you don't want what those guys will do to you if they find you. So he goes down there. <clears throat> and he pulls his sword out. And he's like, basically like, hey, fuckers. Like, who's your fucking captain? I'm going to fucking kill him. Or whatever. And it turns out to be this guy that already hates Conan because of some other situation they've been in before. So they have this fight. Conan kills him. And he's like, all right, I killed your captain. That makes me your captain. And then all of a sudden he gets hit on the back of the head with a rock. And all of the like second-in-command type guys start arguing. Like, he's not a part of the Red Brotherhood, so the rules don't apply. And they're like, yeah, but he wanted to join us, and then he killed the captain, so that would make him captain. So there's all this infighting and people arguing, and so they decide they're going to tie him up um, and then go hang out in these ruins and have, like, a vote to see if they should kill Conan or let him be their captain or whatever. So Olivia is watching all this and she's like mortified. So they're all getting drunk and stuff. And eventually they all pass out. And Olivia, being all brave and shit, like sneaks in to the ruins that she doesn't want to fucking be in. Because she knows what the fuck's in there. She um unties Conan and um they take off and they head for the pirate ship. And as they're running down that way, this um, creature, the one that's been following them and fucking up their boat and the whole thing jumps out. And it's some, what did Conan call it? A gray man ape? It was just like this giant, hairy, tusks, knuckle dragon um, creature. And. Olivia was, like, shocked that it wasn't, like, the way they <clears throat> approached each other, the way they looked at each other, seemed more like two wild animals knowing that they were about to fight to the death instead of a man and a beast getting ready for combat kind of thing. 
And so, like, Conan's, like, fucking chopping fucking arms off, stabbing in the balls, and all sorts of other shit. Um, and then the thing finally fucking dies. And Conan's just like, that was fucking hard as shit, you know? Like, Jesus Christ, if, like, that would have went another five minutes, like, I would have been dead for sure. Um, when they get to the boat, they start hearing screams and things crashing and um, just, like, battle. So, out of the 70 or so pirates that landed on the island, um, only about 40 of them come out, and they're covered in blood, and they're all fucked up. And Conan's like, whoa, the next fucker that gets on this boat, I'm going to fucking chop in half. And they were all too tired to fucking fight. And they're just like, let us on board. Let's just get the fuck away from this island. And he's like, I'm your captain. And they're like, yeah, sure, fucking whatever. Let's just get the fuck out of here. We'll serve you, whatever. There's fucking giant monsters back there that are fucking us up, and we just want to fucking go. And then, like, all of the mid-Conan story, like, mid-era Conan stories, end with, like, Conan, like, talking to the, the girl and he's like, so what do you want to do? And she's like, I'll go anywhere with you. And he's like, are you sure? Because these seas are going to turn blood red. And she's like, on blue seas or on red, I'm with you. Ugh. And he's like, ha ha, I'll make you. I don't know. I don't know if he said I'll make you queen or something. I can't remember. <clears throat> but yeah, so that is um, Shadows in the Moonlight. It's fucking epic. It's really cool. Um... Yeah, so that's that. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, we're getting into some of my favorites now. Um, okay, A Witch Shall Be Born. That is next. So, um, that will be up on weirdmask.com today. So you could read that um, over the week. Um, it's kind of a longer one if I remember correctly. And, um, then next Wednesday we'll talk about it. So, um, tomorrow we have, uh, The Whisper in the Darkness, um, by H.P. Lovecraft for that. And then we'll be going over a bit of Princess of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs on Friday. So lots of fun stuff. I hope you like this story. This is a great one. Um, but make sure you jump over to Weird Mask and read A Witch Shall Be Born because um, that's a humdinger and there will be things in that story that you will have recognized from other Conan lore. So um, lots of fun. So um, hope you like it. Let me know down below what you thought, if you had any questions about it or any comments, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.